Yo, uh, Insanity, if, if you're watching this video, man, I just want to let you know I already saw it, but dude, what happened here, man? I mean, first of all, her of uh, yeah, 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 that's all I got to say, but this guy, <laughs> what the hell happened, bro? What's with the depression here, man? What is What does this thing say? Uh, hi Armando, I'm quitting the frontier. I just want to say I love your videos and they help me a lot. I sent you all my stuff that is worth anything as thanks. Please do not reply to this message as I am never logging back to this game again. I hope you're being safe during these tough times with the virus. I mean, I, I guess you you rechange your mind. Yeah, don't, don't quit, man. You always come back. Anyway, guys, let's let's just get into the video. <laughs> Yo, how's it going everybody? My name is Armando and welcome back guys to another Dead Frontier video. So guys, real quick, uh, I just want to say, wow, I mean, I knew implants, who would have thought? I mean, to be honest though, at this point, I just wish implants weren't really a thing because they kind of do make the game a little weird, but anyway, nevertheless, I just want to say thank you guys for supporting the channel. Like always, I know I've been gone for a little bit, and, you know, this new job got me tired of top of school, but... I'll try my best to be as consistent as possible. Like I said, I'm not quite indifferent to you ever again or YouTube. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the topic. So again, guys, we have a new implant update. I love the little frog you put there. I mean, really, really surprised, right? <laughs> so he said, we've added 10 new implants to the Carter Shop. These are intended to allow newer players the chance to catch up to the older players who were able to get the older run of LEE implants, which I do agree. The old limited edition implants were just so busted, man, and it's kind of hard to get them now. They're like 160 mil, 100 plus mil to get them, and it's just ridiculous. I always said, damn, dude, I really wish it didn't exist because now PvP and, you know, PvE or whatever are just grinding for TS, TPK or whatever. It's just, it's impossible without these implants, and the fact you got to really be in good clans in order to be offered them or loaned to you is just hard in it of itself so the fact he did release them is really nice but before i get into why it kind of is a bit turn off uh let me just finish this first all right uh these new implants cannot be equipped together with the older le implants which is a good thing he tries to balance kind of a bit of the game he doesn't want to have players that are too overpowered and more or less feel like they're on cheat engine like speed you know i don't know if you guys remember that crap back then but uh yeah the amount of implant slots you get as you level up has been changed so that your character now improves more often. So let's see here. So we changed the you know the amount of implants you can put now. So we got level 15, one implant, level 25, 35. So basically in the beginning, almost about 10 levels plus. And then of course level 50, you get four implants. And I think I'm level 220, right? So I get 12 implants, which is the same, but level 245, you get 13, 270, and yeah, I'm never really gonna get this because i'm not gonna try to grind eight hours a day just to get to level 325 never gonna happen guys i cannot be asked to be grinding that much but like i said this all sounds nice and hand and dandy but the part that really really turned me off all right let me just show it to you guys right now is this all right 800 credits each which is in insane all right but again i'm not bashing that man i'm really not this you know if you guys really love the game you know support him he's he's honestly going to be updating this game a lot in the future clayton has posted something that i honestly want to talk about in the next video two days from now but yeah i mean look at this it's not bad the scrutiny implant is 11 plus 11 percent exp gain plus one percent damage in uh, inflicted and all that stuff the trinity is plus six four percent exp gain plus six percent damage inflicted and plus five percent movement so all of these implants are honestly really good for what they are but 800 credits, I forgot how much that was in real life money. Let me see. So 800 credits is, is more or less around, let's see, 28. So it's going to be around $34 each because even if you try to like, uh, you go, oh, let me see if I can cheat the system in 28, 28, 33. So yeah, it's going to be around $35, which is insane for one implant. But hey, I mean, you got to get that bread somehow. So I'm not trying to like, you know, bash on your hustle. You know, I, I, I get it. You have to keep the game alive somehow. So it's okay, you know, but... For me, I, I wouldn't spend this much on an implant. That's just me. Because, well, one, first of all, once you get Ultra Boost, it's pretty much downhill from there. I mean, it's not much to do. And the implants just really add, you know, a bit of just, you know, making the game a little too much, too easy, just in my opinion. But, yeah, that's that's insane. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, they're all great, though. Plus 20% PvP points. This is the one if you're going for PvP. Uh, this is good, good if you're going P, uh, PvP or TS, but... Yeah, I mean, there's not much I can talk about this. I mean, Calamity Implant plus 11% damage inflicted, which is crazy. Mortality Implant plus 5% EXP gain plus 6% damage inflicted. Prosperity Implant, this is basically fluting. Wow, this is honestly amazing. The Prosperity one is not bad. Oh, man, that's pretty good. You, you can only equip one, right? Yeah, but dude, that is beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. I honestly would buy this one. <laughs> but I don't get like I used to. Um, they only equip one. So if you get this and this... 
Ooh, cannot cannot be equipped. Okay, yeah. So if you get these two, if you buy these, if you're a looter and you get two of these, that's not bad. And of course, his movement speed isn't bad, but yeah. Uh, let's finish this video up. It's not gonna be that long. I I don't want it to be that long. Uh, implants, they're not bad. They're really not. It's just thirty five dollars each. That's where I feel like it kind of is a little gas. But like I said, if you play the game and you're really into it. I highly recommend them. They're really not terrible uh, for what they are, really. And it's, it's like the the it's like Emma said. If you miss the limited edition implants that were, you know, Jack Lantern and whatever, I don't really know the implants that were old because I wasn't here for that when they first were released. But if you miss them and you get these, you more or less will be able to catch up to the people that got them. And not only that, but it's good for the market, in my opinion, because it'll crash the old limited edition implants. So now there won't be 150 mil, 200 mil anymore. There'll be like around less than 100 mil, hopefully. I pray. But uh, yeah, that's all I got to talk to you about, guys. What do you guys think about the implants? Do you think they're great? Do you think they're worth $35? Are you going to get them? Let me know in the comment section below. And this is Armando signing out. I'll come out with a new video very soon in two days. And yeah, I'll see you guys around. Take it easy. Bye.